Welcome to Biology Exams for You.com. In this presentation, we are going to discuss a topic the difference between prokaryotic and eukaryotic chromosomes. First of all, let us have a look into what is a chromosome. Our body is made up of billions of cells. Each cell has a nucleus. Inside the nucleus is the genetic material DNA. If we stretch out this the amount of the stretch out the DNA in a single cell, it would be approximately three meters as long as a car. How this DNA is packaged? Here comes the chromosome. DNA is packaged into thread-like structures, which is called as chromosomes. Normally, chromosomes are not visible even under microscope. Chromosomes are visible only at the time of division. In the picture, you can see the chromosome. And these are pictures, actually these are metaphase chromosome pictures where the DNA is maximum condensed. Now, now, what are prokaryotic chromosomes? So, the basic difference between the prokaryotic system and the eukaryotic system as you all know, it depends on the presence and absence of a true nucleus. The term prokaryotes itself in indicates pro-primitive, having a primitive carries nucleus. So, what do you mean by a primitive nucleus? Here the genetic material is free, scattered in the cytoplasm without a nuclear membrane. Second thing, these prokaryotes have a circular chromosome that is normally attached to the cell membrane. A single chromosome. Most often there are extra chromosomal double-stranded circular DNA molecules which are called as plasmids. Plasmids has genes for antibiotic resistance, for antitoxins like colicins, or it will provide some advantage to bacteria to thrive in different environments. And bacterial DNA is made up of, bacterial chromosome is made up of DNA only without histone proteins. Some non, some histone like proteins are reported anyway. Regarding the division, copies during binary fission, cell elongates, enlarges, DNA is copied and, and divides immediately afterwards and is distributed into two cells. Now let us have a look into the eukaryotic chromosome. Eukaryotic system is very complex as I mentioned. The genetic material DNA is surrounded by a nuclear membrane. It is having a true nucleus. So the DNA is found inside the nucleus. The chromosomes are linear, number of chromosomes are there, most often 10 to 50 chromosomes in body cells. As we all know, human body cells has 46 chromosomes. And these chromosomes, as I mentioned, very long structures, DNA molecules are very long structures that are packed inside this very minute nucleus. And this is achieved by a mix-up of DNA with a protein called as histone proteins. In other words, DNA is complexed with a basic protein called histones. And this is this helps in this complex packaging. Then regarding the replication, duplication of DNA, as we all know, there is a cell cycle. DNA is duplicated during the S phase. Then there is a time in G2 phase where the cell grows and prepares for mitosis. Unlike prokaryotic chromosome, here after DNA duplication, mitosis takes place only after G2 phase. Let us summarize the main points we have discussed in this presentation. In prokaryotic chromosome, the chromosome is circular whereas in eukaryote it is linear. Prokaryotic chromosome, the genetic material is scattered in the cytoplasm. Whereas in eukaryotic eukaryotes, it is found in nucleus. Prokaryote has a single circular chromosome. Extra chromosomal particles are called plasmids. Whereas in eukaryotes, many chromosomes are there, usually 10 to 15 number. Then prokaryotic chromosome it comprises of only DNA. Whereas eukaryotic chromosomes, the DNA is complex with basic proteins called histones. Then regard, regarding the division, DNA duplication, after immediately after DNA duplication uh, in prokaryotes it is copied, whereas in eukaryotes there is a G2 phase.
uh, this cell grows and prepare for mitosis. For detailed notes, you can log on to www.biologyexamsforyou.com. Thanks for watching.